Welcome to another Method Man Productions episode. Today's lesson will be about solving equations with ratios or equations with fractions. Usually these problems are the ones that my students skip when they're not that strong with solving equations. Example 1, solve for m. I'm just going to make my t-chart, keep it a little organized. And since m is on my right side, that's the side I want to start off with. There is one term on the right side that you wish wasn't there. Which one do you think it would be? I would wish that the negative 2 wasn't there. Since this is division of negative 2, to undo it, you can multiply by negative 2. Both sides. Negative 2 times 4, that's negative 8. The negative 2's right here cancel out. So I'm left with 2m minus 5. Now look, I have an equation that was way easier than what I started out with. This is now just a two-step equation. Add a 5 to both sides. Negative 3. The 2m we didn't touch, that drops down. The negative 5 plus 5 cancels out. And from this point, it's now just a one-step equation. Divide both sides by 2. Negative 3 divided by 2 is just negative 1.5 equals the 2's cancel out m. For example 2 solve for n, the problem looks very similar, but I'm going to teach you guys how to do this in another method. That's the beauty about math. There's more than one way to solve these equations. One way to solve this problem is to make it into a proportion. You're asking yourself, well how can it be a proportion if both sides aren't fractions? If you want to make 2 into a fraction, you can put 2 over 1. Because 2 and 2 over 1 is the same thing. Doesn't this problem look familiar to one of the previous lessons that we've done? If you were thinking of cross multiplying, you are exactly right. 2 times 3n, that's just 6n, and set it equal to 1 times 2 minus 6n. On the left side, we can't really simplify it, but on the right, we can use the distributive property. It's 1 times 2, that's just 2, 1 times negative 6n. That's negative 6n equals 6n. You want to move this 6n by adding a 6n to both sides. 6n plus 6n, that's just 12n equals 2 drops down, the negative 6n and the positive 6n cancels out. How do I solve it from here? Just divide both sides by 12 and I end up getting n equals 1 sixth or 0.16 repeating. Alright, let's apply the knowledge that we just learned. Please pause the video and try the problem below. You're solving for x. You might need a big piece of paper for this one because there's a lot of things going on. Just remember what I said. Try to Play around with the equation a little bit, but trying to make it as easy for your eyes as possible. When you have finished trying the problem, unpause the video and the answer will show up right in front of you. Here is the answer to that crazy equation that I gave you. If you got this one right, you are master of all equations. The first thing you had to do was cross multiply. The pink result is shown right here, and the green result is right here. Use the distributive property to make the problem easier for yourself. After you have distributed, it's just an equation with variables on both sides. Move all your x's on one side, I chose the left, by adding 2x to both sides. 2x plus 2x, 4x, the negative 2 drops down negative 2x plus 2x cancels out, negative 4 drops down. From this point on, it's just a two-step equation. 
in the end, you get x equals negative 0.5 or negative 1 half. When solving hard equations, always try to rewrite the problem and simplify it to turn it into an equation that's easier for you to solve. Hopefully this video was of help and please subscribe to Method Man 20 for more math lessons.